Pandemic Social Emotional Learning Activities. The COVID-19 global pandemic changed everything. In addition to altering our personal, professional, and social interactions, the pandemic affected the world of education in immeasurable ways. So, in today's video, we wanted to address some of the effects of the pandemic on the social-emotional development of students and provide you with some activities to help them better cope. All right, let's dive in. COVID-19 did take the world by storm and did a number on students' socio-emotional learning. So before we talk about the activities that help with socio-emotional learning, let's begin with its literal definition. Socio-emotional learning is often referred to as SEL, and it mainly deals with the process of developing self-awareness, interpersonal skills, and self-control in students in education. You're probably thinking, what makes it so important? Anyone with strong social-emotional abilities is way better equipped to handle daily problems that life throws at us and reap academic, career, and social benefits. The pandemic obviously had an impact on everyone, but especially students. According to reports, the pandemic had a huge impact on students' mental health. Eight specialists in child development and social-emotional learning were brought together by the Center on Reinventing Public Education, CRPE, in June 2021 to discuss the implications of the epidemic on students' well-being, social-emotional development, and academic performance. The survey showed that there was a significant influence on pupils' mental health. The survey identified a critical need for more cutting-edge options for social-emotional growth during and beyond these troublesome times. As educators, we have a responsibility to come up with some classroom activities to help the students learn to manage their thoughts, feelings, and actions in an appropriate and healthy manner. The following activities may provide students with the tools they need to thrive, both in and out of school. Number one, art activities. Art activities are one of the best. It doesn't really matter what grade your students are in because art activities help in teaching the core social and emotional skills. Art tends to relieve students from their stress and allows them to express their emotions in a more positive way. Teachers ask their students to draw what they feel which will kind of give an idea of their emotional state. The SEL skill that art teaches is self-awareness. Number two, mindful activities. Mindful activities help students with self-management along with self-awareness. Teachers can instruct children in a variety of stress-relieving ways, such as telling them to simply pause for a moment and breathe in and out. I'm sure it'll make them feel a lot better. Mindfulness exercises can regulate the emotions of the students if they are sad, stressed, or anxious. Number three, practical tasks. Teachers that use practical tools in their classes really help the students with the SEL skills like responsible decision-making and self-management. Like responsible decision-making and self-management. We all know there are a lot of things going on in a classroom, so the best way to keep it organized is by assigning small, age-appropriate tasks to students, such as teacher assistant, erasing board, tracking attendance. And the age group really doesn't matter that much. Coming up with an appropriate, engaging classroom role for students to fulfill is the point. In turn, this will help create a sense of responsibility and belonging to the classroom community. Number four, build a classroom web. This activity is centered around passing a ball of thread while exploring the topics like how do people support each other? Talking about this topic will give them a better understanding of the life worlds of their classmates and will give them a chance to hear how others are managing. Number five, face the music. Music is the language of the souls, right? You can have an activity where you ask your students to look for music that inspires positive coping skills, accountability, and things like conflict resolution. This activity is mainly for fourth to eighth grade students, but can be extended to lower, higher grades with some creativity. Number six, just breathe. Breathing activities help you calm your nerves. It is always a readily available activity and very easy to implement. It helps the students with self-management and building resilience. I know this sounds pretty simple, but it is truly one of the most powerful tools to stop, name an emotion or feeling, identify a thought pattern, or note your environment. 
Number seven, glass half full. Sometimes all it takes to help us see the bright side and cultivate thankfulness is a change in perspective and some inspiration from children. This group of activities elegantly integrates SEL while being inspired by the online series Glass Half Full News, which is written from the viewpoint of children. Additionally, you could introduce the idea of gratitude journals and or gratitude photo diaries. Summary. One. The term social-emotional learning, or SEL, is widely used to refer to the process of helping children gain self-awareness, interpersonal skills, and self-control. Two, as teachers, we have a responsibility to come up with some classroom activities to help the students learn to manage their thoughts, feelings, and actions in an appropriate and healthy manner. Three, art, music, mindfulness, and community-building activities are some activities that will help students in overcoming difficult circumstances, like COVID-19 and more, as they continue to grow and develop in and out of school. That is a wrap on this video. We hope you liked it, and if you did, make sure to press the like button. Tell us, what according to you is the best socio-emotional learning activity? Plus, if you have any questions or comments regarding this topic, make sure to write them in the comments section below. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for your service, educators. Until the next time, adios. Bye-bye.